Hello, welcome to lesson one in the PopFizz Roblox course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn a little bit about Roblox Studio. We're going to make our first game, an obby. This is what uh, this is what Roblox calls their um, obstacle course type of game. Then after we make our first game, we're going to save and publish it so that you can share it with other people. And so at the beginning of these lessons, what I like to do is um, to play a demo. And so you can see that there's a link here. You can go ahead and copy that into your browser and um, it'll let you play something that looks like this. Okay, so for those of you that have never used Roblox before, let me go over the controls a little bit. Um, there's, they're not that, that complicated. So the first thing is, in order to jump, you press the space bar. Pretty simple. Now there's different ways to move around, but first let me show you that you can move the camera. So you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out here. And then if you hold the right mouse button, you can actually change the direction that the camera is pointing at, okay? And then <clears throat> in order to move your camera, I mean, in order to move your player, you can use the uh, arrow keys. So the left and right arrow keys will kind of rotate and then you can push forward and back in order to move your character. So whatever direction you're facing, that's the direction that you're going to move, okay? You can also do something similar with the keyboard. You can use the WASD keys. So W moves forward, S moves backwards, and A moves side to side. Now this is different from the um, this is different from the arrow keys because the arrow left and right actually rotate the camera, but the A and D keys will actually move you sideways. Okay, so just play around with that. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to get used to um, to moving your character. And the nice thing about this is that these the the way that you control the player in a Roblox game is also kind of the way you control the camera when you're making games in Roblox Studio. So uh, if you've never played this type of game before, it can be a little challenging to make it across without falling. And I'll show you what it looks like to fall here in a minute. But this is basically what you do. You move around. Let me move my mouse out of the way. So you move around and you make it from section to section. I've tried to make this one not too challenging, but you can see that you have to move the camera and then and then uh, jump around. I'm right now. All I'm using are the arrow keys and the space bar in order to make my way through the course. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you is that Roblox comes with four types of shapes, and I've used those shapes to build these first sections. So over here, let me use this. <laughs> Whoa. So over here, um, there are these kind of rectangular cube-like shapes. And then here, these pink ones are cylinders, which I've kind of flattened to turn into disks. And then here we've got some spheres. And then the last shape that Roblox comes with is this kind of, they call it a wedge. And to me, it looks like a ramp, but it's kind of a triangular shape. And then what I did here at the very end is I just kind of put a few of them together to make it a little more challenging. But let me show you what happens here. I'll show you at the end. Let me show you what happens if you fall off with an obby. Basically, if you don't make it onto a platform, you fall off and then you have to restart back at the start location, the spawn location, okay? So this is the kind of game that we'll make today. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and open up Roblox Studio so that we can uh, make our own. Okay, so let me go ahead and switch to the Roblox Studio. Let me go ahead. Okay. Oh, and this is actually not what you want to see. Let me let me go ahead and open this again so that you can see it from the beginning. Okay. So I'm opening up Roblox Studio. 
and this is what it should look like um, when you first open it up. And um, what you'll notice is that we have all of these templates. And before I do that, let me show you a couple of things that I use to make it easier for you to follow along. So one thing is I have this little yellow circle that follows my cursor. Hopefully that'll make it easier to see for you to see what it is that I'm clicking on. And then the other thing is I can draw on this I can draw on the screen using another tool and I will show you what uh, what buttons to press and just write down notes sometimes. So let me show you what that'll look like. So I'm going to turn off the yellow circle and I'm going to turn on the drawing tool. And so when you head into Roblox Studio, what you want to do is you want to click on this new button here. Surrounded it with a little yellow square. And then you want to make sure that you're here in all templates. Okay. And if you do that, what you'll see are these templates that Roblox gives to you. And there are all kinds of templates. There's a racing template on here. There's a kind of fighting template. Um, there's actually an obby template that you can use to, to make your own obby. Um, and you're welcome to go and explore all of these templates and uh, just see what's possible with Roblox. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on the base plate template right there. So go ahead and click on base plate. And if you do, you should see something like this. Here we go. Okay. And so this is what Roblox Studio will look like when you open up your base plate template. Okay. And you'll see that here in the middle, there's this kind of gray floor and then this little light gray uh, rectangle uh, kind of platform. And um, I'm going to explain what all of the different pieces here are because you see a lot of buttons and a lot of windows. Okay. So let's, let's start, let's start with the menus first. So the first thing that we see on here are these five menus right up here. And let me get some practice here. So those are menus. Okay. And the other thing that we have at the top is these buttons here, right underneath the menus. Okay, so we have menus and we have buttons. And what Roblox has done is they've organized all of the buttons into different menus. So when you click on one of these menus, like model, you'll see a different set of buttons underneath. Okay, if you click on test, you'll see a different set of buttons, view, different set of buttons, plugins, and so on. And in today's lesson, the only menus that we're going to use are the home menu and the view menu. Those are the ones that we're going to use today. The other ones we'll, um, we'll get to in later lessons. But the reason that Roblox uh, organizes their buttons this way is because there's just too many buttons. Like if you look through this, there's just a lot of buttons. The model uh, group alone will take up almost the entire width of the screen. So there's just not enough room to have all of the buttons showing all the time. And so by clicking on these menus, you can pick which buttons you want to use. Okay. And like I said, home menu has the most used, the most common buttons. You'll use that menu most of the time. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the view menu as well. And the other ones we'll get to later, but um, I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. So what we have are we have menus and we have buttons underneath there. The other thing that we have are these windows. And so let me show you the three windows that we'll be using today. So we have what I like to call is the game window here. And um, I think the real name for it is uh, viewport. Uh, some people call it like the universe window. There's different things that people call this thing. But basically what this game window does is it lets you see the game that you're building in a picture, right? So whatever you're building, you can see it as you build it. So this is a very useful window um, and the one that we use the most. The other window that we have over here is the explore window right here. And we'll talk about this uh, also, but basically it lets you see everything that's in your game, but in words. 
and it organizes things into folders which makes it really organized um, and easy to find okay and then the other window that we have down here is the properties window okay and the properties window does exactly what it sounds like it shows you properties for the different pieces that you have in your game so these are windows okay so let me go ahead and summarize the different pieces that we have here so here we have menus you click on these menus to show you different buttons and then we also have these windows okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about the windows okay and in order to do that we're going to use the view menu okay so if you click on the view menu right here you're going to see these buttons show up and in the next video we'll learn how to use the view menu. Okay, see you then.